Well, thank you for joining us for the HG Radio Soundspace Sundays. You gave me an excuse to wear deodorant, and uh, I also put on perfume, which I was like, why am I wearing perfume? Like, that's so <laughs> It's fun. It smells great. Up. <laughs> it feels good. Uh, so yeah. we're going to uh, play the performance that we recorded March 5th uh, with you guys in the HG Radio Soundspace. And, you know, when that performance happened... It was, it was kind of the very beginning where we didn't know the extent of what was going to happen. Like, yeah. remember we had little bottles of Purell on the tables, just mm-hmm. kind of like, yeah. yeah, we had those there, but everybody was hugging and kissing and... So nuts. <laughs> it's really like surreal to look back on. Really another world. You even yeah. called us out during the interview. You're like, so, you guys going to keep it locked down or what? And we were like, we're going to a festival tomorrow. Yeah, we went straight <laughs> to the airport. Did you play that festival? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, yeah. Yeah. The whole, we, everyone was joking the whole time, like, oh, this is probably going to be the last festival for a while. And I think it was. Sure was. Yeah. Sure was. It was incredible. It seemed like we were all kind of just being really tongue-in-cheek about it, and we had no concept. And then, I mean, for me the music world shut down that night with you guys because you weren't yeah. the, you weren't the last, but we squeezed in like two more. And I think maybe group love was the last one to have a live audience. I think glass animals did one without a live audience there. Mm. So um, for me, the local natives performance really was the end of it at uh, the live music. So the end of live music. <laughs> <laughs> What a climactic ending. Yeah. Well, I hope you had fun at least because I know I did. If I'm going to go out with a bang, it might as well be like that. For sure. Now, let me ask you, uh, have you guys been, uh, I need to know, has anyone here baked sourdough bread? Uh, <laughs> I, I haven't made sourdough bread, but I, I did make cinnamon rolls, uh, but, I, but I messed up my it, my uh, dry active yeast, I messed that up. So they were like half inflated cinnamon rolls, but they tasted really good. Who knew yeast was going to be like the black market ingredient? No one could get yeast. <laughs> it's unbelievable. No one knew. That sourdough <laughs> starter is just. Did anyone cut? Did you cut your own hair? Or have somebody cut it for you at home? We've been doing that for years, so. <laughs> My wife for me, uh, owns a hair salon, <gasps> so it's handy. Amazing. That's kind, of, that's kind of her thing. Who knew that? We were, like, laughing that that was the thing. Like, it's only been a few months, and everyone is freaking out about not getting their hair done. I mean, look, I have, like, my roots here, and I, I've gone from, like, teal to, like, blue steel. I have pink. I'm just going to keep <laughs> – my hairdresser was just like, here, we, you might need this. And I was like, all right, but – Fun. Yeah. It's yeah. like a it's refined, refined Harley Quinn. It's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, would, I would love to get my roots done at some point. Um, well, let's talk about some stuff. You, you know, Violet Street, you, we were supposed to see you at the Greek a couple weeks ago with Foles. Uh, you know, I don't want to get too much on the bummer sauce of what was supposed to happen, but that was supposed to <laughs> yeah. happen. It was, it was. It's kind, of, it's kind of torturous. We still haven't updated our calendar. So every day it's like, oh, I'm supposed to be in Dallas. Oh, I'm supposed to be in Houston. Like, we got to fix that shit. <laughs> how, are you, how are you guys do you, handling the, the letdown? Um, yeah, I actually think the Greek one was one of the, was one of the biggest ones that was kicking off our tour. That is probably, you know, if not our most favorite, just one of the best places in the whole world to play. So that was, was pretty surreal. You know, I think, um, that was tough, but to kind of handle it. Yeah. We've just been, uh, writing a lot in, in our own studios and starting to send songs around to nice. each other and working on the you know the local natives quarantine music machine getting it going seeing what uh, you've happens. also done yeah. A, yeah you've you've released the dark days uh with amelia from sylvanesto which was amazing um you guys performed that another thing like right before was at kimmel that's when you did it 
Yeah. That's, yeah, that's that, that, was right, the, yeah. that was the wildest week. We crammed everything in right at the last second. We did like uh, the Kimmel performance with Amelia. She's so rad that she came out and did that with us. The next day was the K-Rock was the thing at your sound space. And then, the, and then a festival the next day. Uh, right. Yeah. So I don't know. We, we somehow thought we weren't ever going to do this again. So we crammed it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw that you guys are doing something really great with your merch with regards to your road crew. Do you want to tell uh, everyone about it? Yeah. So, so, so uh, Nick and Matt uh, help design all of our all of our merch, and um, and they designed uh, a black long sleeve. Uh, it, it says Spiral Choir Tour Forever on the back, and all the proceeds are going to go to our crew uh, who work their asses off uh, making our shows as great as they can possibly be. It's all it's so much thanks to them. So we're trying to help them out while we can't tour. Uh, it's it's so. It sucks so much. We're supposed to be with them right now. Uh, I'm supposed to be with these guys right now. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's a, small, that's a small thing we try to do to make, I don't know, help them out a little bit as much as we could. Right. I think it's amazing because a lot of people, I think a lot of people still don't realize the devastation when it comes to the people behind the scenes and what's going on as far as income. So yeah. when stuff like this happens, I think you guys bring out um, the awareness more. So I think it's great. Um, also, are those keychains real? Because I, I, <laughs> I <laughs> if you're listening right now, they, I, I don't know who posted it. It was the, when am I going to lose you? Like keychain, which is perfect because how many times do I lose my keys? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We're, we'll send you some stuff. Cat. We'll, we're going like, to through these. And if you, if you just sing the song, then it beeps so you can find it <laughs> wait i was not aware of that that's amazing yeah i I, I added that functionality last minute i worked with the team are you engineers. lying nice no day. it wasn't it wasn't that hard to do are you Easy. serious <laughs> it wasn't that hard no i'm not serious but i do lose all of my things every day I feel so. like you're, you'll jinx me though if i actually have that on my keychain i will then like definitely lose my keys so yeah <laughs> I, love, I want i want like you to lose your keys and you to be singing when am i gonna lose you and you'll be like taylor it's not working what's going on <laughs> the battery's dead <laughs> um now you guys I, I saw wait can we talk about um kelsey your tv radio show we're celebrating 100 years of radio so wait first i want to ask you guys celebrating 100 years of radio you know, for me, it's been like, wow, I get to be a part of this thing that was like so mysterious growing up. But for an artist, like what's the impact for you guys? Can you like, I don't know. I, I didn't even know it, it was the 100 year anniversary of radio. That's, that's cool. Isn't that uh, crazy? Yeah, so insane. I mean, radio is obviously such a huge part of like how we grew up listening to music and I mean, it's even insane talking to you right now, growing up in Southern California, uh, always listening to K-Rock. Our current manager, yes. he first heard about us driving in his car, listening to Locals Only, and heard our song, oh, I can't remember what song, maybe Sun Hands, and hit us up on MySpace after hearing us on the radio. So it was like yeah. fully like some old school, yeah. The it Furious was great Five and Nine story. Yeah. And because, you know, uh, Phil and I had been friends and so he hit me up after and he's like, you know, what's the deal with these guys kind of thing. And I was like, I remember we were doing a show at Silver Lake Lounge. We were presenting your show and I was like, just go. And I, and it was so packed that night. It was like, like disgusting, sweaty, like thinking yeah. about it now when we're supposed to be six feet away, like really <laughs> freaks me out. <laughs> yeah. But I remember wow. Phil showed up to see you guys that night and I was like, oh, this is so great. I love putting the pieces together of a puzzle, you know? So yeah, that's amazing. I love that. I love hearing There's something it. what's magical about the radio that endures um, is that it's you, you like can't plan on it. You know, it's not this on demand um, 
thing where you just have the same kind of playlist and obviously there's cool things about that but it's so awesome to turn on the radio and hear something new or for us you know that like thrill of getting in the car and hearing our song on the radio like for the first yeah. time let's go back to uh, kelsey and your um talk show tv talk show radio show it, yeah it's a it's like a it's like a radio show where i play all the characters and it's like me being an insane person now is this like because immediately we're talking about radio being 100 years old we're talking about you being like playing all the characters i feel like i should put a hand to my ear and it's old timey kind of sounding like what's going on <laughs> it's like uh, war of the, war of the worlds <laughs> It's like, it's like so, so, schizophrenia, multiple so characters. The background, the background is one of our really uh, good friends who's a, a filmmaker here in LA. His name is Jonathan Hyla. He started an internet radio station called East Side Radio. Mm -hmm. And he started hitting up all of his friends to be like, hey, do a radio show on my radio station. You can do whatever you want. And... Um, we've always made each other laugh and he was just like do it like a comedy thing so i made like some some radio show it's like i don't know muppets meets like uh like the larry sanders show where it's like <laughs> inside uh, the making of a tv show but they had to switch to radio because they burnt their studio down and they got kicked off the air <laughs> i love it i love it. do you script this or do you just Kind of freestyle. It's it's half scripted, half improv, uh, and I just do all the voices myself. And I'm sure I'm breaking a lot of copyright laws by like, um, <laughs> like reviewing Fleetwood Mac songs. But uh, I don't know. Check it out. It's it's on every Thursday night at nine. EastsideRadio.org. I wasn't planning on talking about this, guys. She brought it up. I just want to like I, yeah, I, I Kat, just, that's on you I feel like you know he's got this whole other persona and I keep seeing your post and I'm like what? and I think it's perfect so thank you Kelsey's uh Kelsey's what we call off the leash off the local natives leash on his radio show yeah so Taylor are you getting your steps in what's happening right now I know I can't this is why I was sitting down the guys know I've paced I've paced my whole life in every <laughs> phone conversation. All of our meetings, I do this nonstop. <laughs> Ever really? since, we've known each other since we were like 13. And, and I remember Taylor used to come over to my house and my mom would get so frustrated because he'd just wander in circles like around like Wait, the why did Carolyn, table or something. Why did she get frustrated? She, she, I don't know. I think she, it was just driving her crazy watching you pace like a madman. I don't know. Ooh. Taylor, it, it seems it seems to frustrate a lot of people. I don't know. There's some <laughs> correlation. It even came up right now. So weird. <laughs> this it's is also, some like um, <laughs> this is ther this therapy. is some weird therapy situation going yeah. on here. I feel like Metallica is gonna pop in any minute. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm glad we're talking about this now. This this had to be brought up. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm so glad to have you guys and just check in and make sure you know everybody's good. I know spirits get pretty low um, right now and it's a weird time. How do you guys feel about opening all the, you know, opening up situation? Are you going are you going out or you're like? We've all been keeping it um, pretty locked down. I would say. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just every now and then it dawns it dawns on you know. Uh, it dawns on you just what a what a weird world we're in and um i i think for us and then i'll just speak for me but for all of us we just you know focusing on what we can do and what we're grateful for and just keeping it really positive uh nice. focusing on those things you know we're we're super we're super lucky and you know even though we as a band like our tours are canceled and we're we can't you know we're out of work on that level we can keep making music and we're so lucky for that for example and so it's you know just like holding on to those things and and kind of being connected to that gratefulness i think well taylor ryan and kelsey local news thank you for uh jumping on the zoom the performance you're going to hear now uh was recorded march 5th when we were all together in the hd radio <laughs> sound space at k-rock and there was a live audience
<laughs> and it was love and hugging and kissing and pure. It was intimate, and- an intimate <laughs> gathering. Oh, so that's what you're going to hear. Um, be well, you guys. I'll see you online. But thanks for coming on today. And if you're watching the stream, you can also hear this live at K Rock. If you're listening live at K Rock, jump on krock.com to watch the performance. All right. Thanks, Kat. Thank you. So great Thank to see you. Guys. you. So you guys. Great. great to see you.